I am always fascinated by people's obsession with finding free video editing software. Hey, this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and there is an overwhelming amount of video editing software to choose from, right? Some people want free software, some people are okay with paying for software, and other people just want the best that money can buy. But if you're brand new to editing your GoPro videos, there's a good chance that you're looking for either free or inexpensive software, but still decent when you're just starting out. So real quick, let me cover the free options and then we'll dive into the more robust options available that are still under $100. I am always fascinated by people's obsession with finding free video editing software because, you know, editing videos is not exactly considered to be one of the cheapest hobbies on the planet. You pay for your cameras, you pay for accessories, and bags, and memory cards, and a computer to edit your videos on, and yeah, you have to have software too. So the three most common free video editors out there for GoPro videos are iMovie if you're on a Mac, it's Mac only, or Windows Movie Maker if you're on a PC, which is PC only. And then GoPro has their own software called GoPro Studio, which is available for Mac or a PC, and the Quick app for a desktop, which kind of goes along with GoPro Studio, but you can do some things without it as well. GoPro Studio I have used extensively. In fact, I have tons of tutorials here on this YouTube channel on how to use GoPro Studio, and I also have a three-in-one masterclass for beginners, which I will link to below, or you should be able to hit it over there, over there. Now, I've never used Windows Movie Maker or if I have, it would have been like over a decade ago. So I can't exactly vouch for it and its robustness or its ability to edit GoPro videos. But if you're on a PC and you're looking for free, then you're gonna probably wanna start with Windows Movie Maker. But you Mac users are pretty lucky because iMovie is probably the best free video editing software available. So that's the software that is actually installed or that you'd have to install on your actual computer. There is iMovie mobile editing apps for iPad iPads and iPhones. I haven't played with those a whole lot at this point, but I'm pretty confident that if you're gonna be editing your GoPro videos, you're gonna wanna be at a computer for that. But I will be covering mobile editing apps next month here on my YouTube channel, so make sure you're subscribed if you're curious about editing videos on your iPhone or your iPad. Now, if you're totally new to iMovie, I actually created a free printable guide for you. It's kind of like a cheat sheet, and it answers three of the most common questions among first-time iMovie users. So I invite you to download that for free. I'll put a link in the description below, or when you're done watching this video, you can go over to vidpromom.com slash iMovie guide. So if you've used some of the free video editors that I just mentioned and you find that you really enjoy creating videos and you're ready to maybe upgrade your whole editing situation, let's talk about video editors under $100. I think $100 is a reasonable price to spend um, on video editing software, especially if you spent a couple hundred dollars on a GoPro. So the four main video editors that come to mind that come in under $100 are Adobe Premiere Elements, Wondershare, Filmora, Cyberlink Power Director and Pinnacle Studio. Adobe Premiere Elements runs about $70 as a direct download from Amazon and it's available for Mac and PC. Premiere Elements is one of my favorite pieces of software to recommend because it has a very basic editor and then it has a more advanced editor. So it's a very robust and great piece of software and then it kind of comes with training wheels. So that's pretty convenient for beginners. And then there's Filmora which is made by Wondershare and that's also available for Mac Mac and PC and runs about $60. They actually just came out with their 8.0 version, which has some pretty great functions specifically for GoPro users. So I actually did a review of those new functions in a previous video, which I'll link to below. Power Director is a favorite for editing GoPro videos with PC users and it is only available for the PC. I've played with it a bunch and it seems very robust and you can get it on Amazon for about $60. Now Pinnacle Studio is one that I've never used before but I wanted to throw it in here so you had another option to choose from. It is only available for PC users and it runs about $60. As far as my recommendations go, honestly I always recommend that you use a free trial of any software before you actually purchase it, just to make sure that it's something you're gonna want to use, it's something that you like, and that it works with your computer. I do like to recommend Premiere Elements because like I mentioned, I like the fact that it kind of has training wheels. And I also have a three-in-one masterclass for Premiere Elements, which I will link to 
below. Filmora is really great too with the new features that they just came out with for action cameras. So if you're a GoPro user, you might wanna look into Filmora. Links to everything that I mentioned are in the description below this video. And if you've used any of the software that I've mentioned in the video, let me know in the comments what you like about it or even what you don't like about it. And if this video was helpful for you, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks, bye.